welcome back to Love Your Food. This week, after last week's buttercream recipe, we need something to decorate with it. So we are making these beautiful chocolate cupcakes. Uh, these are, uh, it's a really simple, basic chocolate cupcake recipe. And we're going to throw in a couple of curveballs as well that you may enjoy. So uh, uh, first, let's get started. We're going to show you some ingredients. So we have flour. This is salt, baking powder, and baking soda. We have some peanut oil, uh, some cocoa. Uh, this is buttermilk, uh, some vanilla. We have two eggs. Of course, all the amounts are going to be in the description below. Uh, with some brown sugar and some plain white sugar. So to get started, we are going to get our dry ingredients mixed together. So we've got our flour, uh, our cocoa, and uh, our leavening here. So that's our baking soda, baking powder, and the salt. And we're just going to make sure that this is well combined. So you can do this with a fork. Uh, we find a whisk works a little faster. And just make sure that everything's all uh, combined well in there. If you find any little lumps of cocoa, the cocoa does tend to uh, sort of clump together. You just want to make sure that those are broken up a little bit and that it's all pretty even, uh, nice and smooth in there. And there you go. Once you've got all of that together, we are going to get our wet ingredients started here. So we're going to start with the brown sugar. We're going to break that up. And the white sugar as well. And then we're going to add our eggs. Now, uh, we usually add our eggs into uh, a bowl first just to see if we uh, get any little bits of shell in there. Uh, we can get it out. Nope, everything's fine. So that is going to go straight into our mix. Now, as soon as those eggs hit that sugar, it's going to start to uh, cook the eggs. So we want to get that blended really, really quickly and try and break up those uh, lumps of brown sugar as we go. And once you get those eggs in there, uh, time is of the essence and you have to start mixing everything together. So giving it a very brisk stir, uh, you want to make sure you're breaking up all of the little uh, clumps of sugar that are forming. Uh, any remaining clumps of brown sugar as well. And give it all a really, really thorough mixing together. Now, when it's about this uh, consistency, it's good and smooth. You're not seeing a whole lot of lumps there. You will have another chance to, uh, to beat this. So uh, if there's a couple of lumps remaining, we will take care of that. Now, this is our peanut oil. The recipe called for vegetable oil, but uh, we've recently been cooking with peanut oil a little bit, and we wanted to try it in this recipe. It actually gave the final uh, cupcakes, which were quite dark, uh, a really amazing peanut aroma, so it really came through. Uh, there's our vanilla, and a little bit of buttermilk as well. And we're going to give that all a nice good uh, whisk together, once again making sure that it is all very well combined and this is your uh, your opportunity to remove any more lumps of the brown sugar if there are any remaining or any lumps at all. If you're seeing any you can uh, break them up. Once that's well combined we're going to start adding it to our dry. So we're going to add half of it first. There you go. Trying not to make too much of a mess on there. And we're going to give that a little whisk together just to start combining it. This will make it easier on your second pass when you add the rest of the liquid. So you can see it's starting to absorb the chocolate and uh, mix in with that flour. And once it makes that nice thick paste, we're going to add the rest of it. Give your bowl a good scrape. Get all of that nice uh, egg mixture in there. And then we're going to give it 
our last mix here, you want to just mix this until it's combined. Uh, over mixing is just uh, going to give it a rough texture, it's not going to be nice and fluffy, and uh, you also don't want to wait too long once it's all combined because the, uh, the baking soda, the baking powder is starting to react and you really need to get this into the oven. So once it's just blended, you can see it's just mixed there, we're going to get it into those uh, cupcake cups. And we're just going to fill these about halfway because they are going to rise quite a lot. So you can see here, we're just going to fill these about halfway in each of these uh, cups. Um, so we're just using paper cups in a regular muffin tray at this point. If you have those little metal cups that stand on their own, you can also use those. Again, you just want to fill them about halfway, and they will uh, they will rise to fill those cups. So once you have all of that neatly divided among your cupcake cups, you just want to give it a little clean if you've been a little messy in your pouring. You can just take a, a spatula or a scraper and uh, try and clean off some of the little spots of chocolate on there. That's just going to burn in the oven, so you do want to make sure you get rid of that before you uh, before that hits your preheated oven. And there we go. And that's just about ready to hit the oven now. So we are going to transfer that into the middle of our preheated oven. And there we go. And we're going to put that, we're just going to start that for about 12 minutes. And we're going to see where that gets us. So after 12 minutes, we're uh, just giving it a test here. So we took it out to take a look. And you can see here, they are, they look almost done, but you can see in the middle, there's just that little, uh, it looks sort of like a, a wet spot in the middle, essentially. Um, that means they are not quite done. That will sort of collapse and cave in if we take it out now. So we're just going to put that in for just a couple more minutes and, uh, and get those nice and finished. So three more minutes on the clock. And out they come. So after those three minutes, you can see that little uh, spot did cave in a little bit from when we took it out the first time, but we're going to run a, uh, a a wooden skewer through one of them uh, just to see if they're actually done all the way through. It comes out clean. They're finished. Just perfect. So we're going to let those cool. We're going to transfer those onto uh, a rack once they've cooled a little bit. We did do one of the uh, standalone ones just so you can see it there. Then once they're about room temperature, uh, now you can decorate. So here's our buttercream from last week. You can see Chef Caleb using the uh, star tip on there just to make a nice little pattern on top. And then what we like to do is uh, give them a little dusting with some cocoa powder as well. That buttercream is very rich. Uh, very sweet, so a little bit of that cocoa really uh, sort of cuts it down a little bit, makes it uh, really, really delicious. Also adds some uh, really interesting visual impact as well. And this is our favorite method. This is the uh, cupcake method that uh, we've been using for eating them. The uh, Once you've peeled your cupcake uh, cup off, peel the bottom off. And you can put it right on top of that buttercream on top. <laughs> it just makes it a little easier to eat. Um, we uh, we enjoy that method, and it's uh, makes a beautiful cupcake. And that's it. It's really simple, uh, basic cupcake recipe. And uh, again, we added that peanut oil instead of the vegetable oil. It gave it this beautiful peanut aroma as well. Um, you don't have to do that. Of course, if you have peanut allergies, you're going to want to avoid that as well. But uh, that's all. Um, if you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see Chef Caleb try anything else on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food. Mm -hmm.